Movie Demon here. Today I'll show you an action thriller film named Selfless. Damien Hale is a very rich and a successful businessman who stares at New York City through his skyscraper. Behind him is a nurse picking up her tool and before leaving. Damien has almost six months to live as he is diagnosed with cancer. Later at the lunch table with his friend Martin, it is revealed that he still hasn't told Claire, who is his own daughter, about the illness. He doesn't have a good relationship with Claire as he was a workaholic while she was growing up and didn't spend much time with his family. Martin thinks that if Claire knows about the illness, she will forgive him and they will quickly make up for the lost time. Before Martin and Damien go their ways, Damien asks Martin if he has heard of shedding and Martin says no. In his car Damien tries to call Claire but she doesn't answer and he pulls out a card from a company named Phoenix Biogenic. He remembers the conversation he had with the company owner. Dr. Albright. Dr. Albright has found a way to transfer consciousness from one body to another. In this way people can extend their lives and the process is known as shredding. The company provides genetically modified bodies in exchange for a big amount of money. Damien asks the doctor if their service is illegal. Dr. Albright says that he asked a wrong question. The right question would be do you feel immortal? Damien wonders whether he should take the offer or not. After that he goes to see Claire who is running a non-profit organization. Wanting to make things right, he gives his daughter money but still doesn't tell her about the illness. Claire refuses to take the money as she thinks she is being manipulated. Disappointed Damien sits in his office and searches more on the company Phoenix and the process of shedding. He discovers that the process was invented by Dr. Jensen. He watches a video of him explaining about it. While doing so, he coughs blood and faints. He wakes up in a hospital and realizes that his illness has started to consume him. He calls Dr. Albright to schedule the procedure. He says that his previous life will be gone and he cannot contact anyone from his previous life again. He goes to a graveyard and buries his documents there in a box. He fakes his death according to Albright's instruction. He asks Martin to meet at lunch and the lunch he fakes a stroke and falls to the floor. He gets in an ambulance, but the ambulance takes him to the Phoenix Biogenic Lab rather than the hospital. They start the procedure and put Damien in a machine. Strong lights and sounds make him very uncomfortable, but he is transferred into a new young body. He is told that it will take a little while for him to adapt to the body. He starts hallucinating and sees a picture of grass and a horse. Damien however stays at the hospital training physically and mentally, getting used to his new body. Since he is not Damien anymore, he also has to learn a fake biography with his new name Edward Kidner. After some time he starts liking his new body, but the hallucinations and headaches won't go away. Albright tells him that his mind still hasn't gotten used to the new neural structure. He gives him some pills to help him with the process. If Damien doesn't take them, have hallucinations or might even die. He is also supposed to stay in New Orleans in order to get the weekly pill supply. He is then dropped in front of a big house and he starts to like the new body. He starts playing basketball and makes a new friend named Anton. Anton lives right next to him and offers to take him out. That same night they go out to a nightclub and every woman is now staring at him as he is very handsome now. Damien still hasn't gotten used to answering people questions about his life and his job, so people think he's a little weird. He gets adapted to a new routine where he enjoys his life but gets bored of the party life very fast. He still isn't satisfied because he cannot see his daughter. Distracted by sadness, he forgets to take the pills and soon afterwards starts hallucinating. He sees some recollection of a countryside road where he sees a little girl who is ill. He explains to Dr. Albright about what he went through and he says that it was a recollection of his old memories and current emotions all mixed up. As a distraction, the doctor gives him a ticket to Hawaii and doubles his medication. He tells him that he saw a little girl because he misses his daughter Claire. Doctor tells him that he saw a Latina woman because of some other event from his own life. Damien realizes that he never told the doctor that the woman was a Latina, so he immediately starts suspecting the doctor. He searches the pumpkin tower from his hallucinations and finds that there is an exact same tower in a small town St. Louis. He decides to trick Albright and goes to St. Louis instead of Hawaii. He takes the box out that he buried and leaves. One of the Albright's men follows him, but he manages to escape his sight and catches a flight. A few hours later, he arrives at the tower. He also notices a small house near the tower and knocks at the door, but nobody is there. Damien enters the property without permission and sees medical bills there along with some parts of the respiratory machine. Most importantly he sees a picture of Madeline and Anna. He sees a picture of himself too, and it turns out that the body was not genetically made, but it was an actual person. While he is dealing with the truth, Madeline comes home and points a gun at him. As soon as she sees him, she starts crying as she was told that her husband died because of drowning. Albright's men come into the house, knock Madeline out and try to kidnap Damien. His friend Anton comes there as he was also a part of Phoenix Biogenetics. He was spying on Damien. Anton explains that Madeline's husband agreed to give them the body for money which was to be used in the treatment for his daughter. Damien's shock tells Anton that Albright is a murderer. He tells Damien that they will kill Madeline and Anna and make it look like an accident. Damien goes to the bathroom to take his pills there but knocks one of the men out. With the help of his army instincts, he kills some of Albright's men and goes to wake up Madeline but loses his pills during the fight. 
he takes Madeline and tells her that he agreed to do some dirty work to pay for Anna's medication bills. Both of them head to Anna's school. Anna comes and hugs Damien saying that she knew he wasn't dead. Later they stay at a motel where Damien searches on a computer to find more about the Phoenix Biogenic. He finds out that Albright was a student of Jensen and sees Dr. Albright sitting along with Dr. Jensen. He also finds out the address of Phyllis. Dr. Jensen's wife. He starts hallucinating again because he hadn't taken any more pills. Madeline is worried, but Damien knows what to do now. The next morning, they take a car and go to the nursery where Jensen's wife is staying. He poses as a student researching Jensen's work. She believes him and starts telling him all sorts of information. She tells him that Albright visits her every weekend and he figures out that Jensen is using Albright's body. He asks her to invite him to come and when he arrives, Damien points a gun at him and demands for more pills but the doctor tells him the bitter truth about the red pills. He tells him that with every pill he takes, the memory of Mark will disappear a little, killing Mark along with his army training and skills. Without the pills, Damien will lose his mind and Mark will take control of his body. He then kidnaps Albright and asks to take him to his lab for more pills but, while they are on the way, Albright's men attack them and disarm Damien. Just before they put him in a black car, Madeline arrives and shoots one of the men in the ear, but it turns out to be Anton in a new body. Damien fights the rest of the men, and before the couple leaves, Anton warns Madeline that Damien is hiding something. She demands to pull the car over when they are away from the men. She asks for their daughter's birthday and other details about their life. When he is unable to answer her questions, Damien is forced to tell her the truth while Anna sits in the car. Madeline gets really upset for the right reasons as he manipulated and lied to her, and she has to disappoint her daughter. She doesn't want to explain to Anna that the man who looks like her father is actually not her father and a total stranger. Albright still would come after Madeline and Anna, so she still needs him, even if she doesn't like or trust him, they will have to work together in order to survive. They get into the car and he thinks of a plan. To ask his old friend Martin for help and send Madeline and Anna to a safe location. When they arrive and meet Martin, he tells him the truth describing the details of the things only the two knew. Martin agrees to help them and organizes their escape. Damien then tries to think of how to tell little Anna that she will not see her father ever again, but he ends up having a good time bonding with her and developing a father-daughter-like relationship. He teaches her to swim and they both have a good time while Madeline watches them from the window, happy that they both have a good time. He is nevertheless in her husband's body. She asks to listen to his heart and they end up kissing. Damien feels uncomfortable and so starts telling her about his previous life so that her attraction is diverted from Mark. He tells her about his daughter Claire and their relationship. The two have a good heart-to-heart -heart conversation and he later notices that all the mirrors in the house are covered. He knows that Martin's son died two years ago and suspects something to be wrong. He looks for Anna and finds her in a kid's room playing with a young boy. He quickly figures out that Martin also took his son to the Phoenix Biogenetics and gave him a new body. He confronts Martin and it turns out that Martin snitched on Damien and the Albright's men are waiting outside to kill them. Damien tells his friend that the little boy's body used for his son was not made in a lab and actually belonged to someone else. It was a real person and someone else's child. Martin gets shocked and disgusted, so he decides to help them for real this time. He takes Madeline and Anna to a safe location while Damien drives his car to distract the killers. He soon gets chased by Albright's men and struggles, the cars end up crashing into each other, and Damien makes sure to kill everyone. everyone.eg, then goes to the diner he agreed to meet Martin, Madeline and Anna, but only Martin arrives. He tells him that Madeline and Anna got ahead of him in the forest and asked for help from a stranger, but it turned out to be Albright's men, Martin tells him that he planted the Phoenix Biogenetics card on Damien to help him. Most importantly, he tells him that he has cracked the formula of the red pills and can make them from scratch, but Damien decides not to take the pills. He plans to not take any pill for 12 hours and obtain the lab's location. In his dream, he finds a building close to the lab and goes to New Orleans to find the lab. He finds the lab the next day and gets in by attacking the guards, in the room with the mind transfer machine, he sees two new bodies, and suddenly Albright appears from behind a glass window. He tells him that Madeline was the perfect match for a new client, and Anna's organs won't be wasted. He shoots at the glass, but it turns out to be bulletproof. Two men come into the room and he is told that his body will now be used as a vessel for Anton. Damien swallows a bullet before being taken into the machine. Next, Anton wakes up in Mark's body, and Albright questions him to make sure that it is Anton. After getting satisfied, he sends him to kill Madeline and Anna, but when he goes to meet the two, he kills the guards instead and tells them that it's still Damien himself. They run and fight the guards and end up in a room with a glass separating them from Albright. Damien tells the doctor that he listened to the instructions before his own procedure. He knew that the procedure won't work if there is any metal in the body, and by eating a bullet, he managed to stay inside Mark's body. Doctor still doesn't think that he will kill him because he is the only one with the formula of the red pills, as he doesn't know that Martin cracked the formula. Damien ends up burning the doctor with a fire gun. They escape the lab and go to the safe location Martin found for them, but Damien does not come along and goes to meet his daughter Claire instead. 
he acts like her father's friend and tells her that Damien regretted not spending time with her when she was a child, and he was proud of her. He gives her a letter and later sees that she is glad to see it. Next, we see him waking up in a room totally confused. He finds a video of himself playing on a laptop. Turns out, Damien is not in Mark's body anymore as he decided not to have the pills anymore, giving Mark access to his own body. Mark gets shocked but is grateful nevertheless. He goes to meet Madeline and Anna on an island, and the couple embrace each other. Kindly subscribe to the channel for more such videos, and leave a like to help the channel out.